Wallace Chambers, Kings of Leon on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, and, uh, England are world champions again then, so. Oh, it's brilliant. It was amazing, wasn't yeah. it? See, I'm not a rugby man at all. I, I, I never watch rugby. I think the last time, I think was when we won about 12 years ago, whenever it was, and I got into it last week because I realised we were doing so well. We could, I watch England win anything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't care what, in fact, I wasn't into war when I was little until I realised we were so bloody good we at it. We are really good at it. it. You know, it's brilliant. But, um, uh, oh yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it was great. Right, that's the rugby thing over. That's what next? That's it. That's all I've got. That's all I had today. It does see me, sometimes I watch it and it does, it does remind me of when I play rugby because one of them will boot it down the field and then someone will catch it and boot it straight back again. Yeah. Which is essentially how we I was made rugby to play rugby. We had to play rugby. Yeah. And I don't think I'd get rid of the ball so quickly. Yeah. Um, I don't think I ever got tackled or fell over. Yeah. I think I touched the ball about 20 times in the two years it was compulsory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was terrified. Yeah, and absolutely. The same as cricket. I, I, I can't, I'm a terrible batsman. I'm all right at bowling, but it seemed like the pastime for people I went to school was, was to injure you. Yes. It was funny to yeah. see someone polax. It was funny to see someone get a cricket ball in the head. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. You know. I so never relaxed into rugby because the first day I was going to play it, my mum, I swear to God, my mother said, oh, you're playing rugby today, you got the kit and everything, um, enjoy it, be careful, there was a kid at my school who got, um, who broke his neck. And I, so, um, yeah, thanks very much for that. See you later. So I just went to school absolutely Man, I'm wondering, wait, 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 broken neck, that's, is that all, you get better in a couple of days? Oh, no, you can find a wheelchair. No, 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 no. Enjoy the game though. Yeah, no it was, it was absolutely petri- I was just petrified from that day. See, on. at least American football, you know, Got helmets. The padding, the helmets. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, uh, mm -hmm. but anyway, well, no, no injuries, thank God. <laughs> thank goodness. Uh, yeah. so, uh. Well, I tried to, uh, try to play rugby, but it's awkward when you've got glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there's something about you. Don't, you didn't really play with glasses on. Yeah, of course, well, I couldn't see anything, could I? I couldn't see anything. How else was I gonna play? Oh my God. And so you're bound to be cautious, because inevitably you're a bit more cautious when but you've got glasses. you're next the to your tallest face. person on the pitch as well. Yeah. I mean, you were, uh, like, w w when you were about 14, you were probably six foot already, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone else was, what, five two? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you, uh... Towering above them. <laughs> and with glasses Just on. Just with the glasses and on. And you've got pretty cool glasses now. Right, you've right. had a bit of a, a makeover. makeover. It's like Trini and Suzanne said, yeah. first thing to go, the glasses. Sure, sort them out, yeah. Yeah. And but presumably you used to have those National Health sort of bottles. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it true? You've never been able to mosh I try to mosh. I, I, cause cause I've always watched people stage diving, moshing at concerts. I've always thought that looks like brilliant. You know when they're, they're, um, they ride above like everyone's wave, heads. Like they're surfing across the, yeah, hands amazing. Everyone's like, yeah. And I've always wanted to do that because I'm a big rock music fan. And, uh, the only time I did mosh was at Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> but, I tried to but, mosh at Rage Against the Machine. I, the, I love the idea of... A, a band called Rage Against the yeah. Machine yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, aimed at a man with glasses who yeah. won't mush. Well, it was at the Reading Festival, and I think the lead singer, I forget his name, he went, um, can I just remind everyone that racism and fascism, fasci fascism are on the rise in Europe again. Let's not let it happen. What did you do? And we all cheered, obviously. I mean, if there's one thing that guarantees a cheer yeah. at Reading Festival, it's down with fascism. And what did they do about it after the concert? Did pretty they, much did, went did, back and... Did, went, went home and had a cup of tea? Probably, I don't yeah, know what sure, they got sure. up to. They didn't go to Europe then and try don't and think they, no? I don't think they got involved politically in Europe. I think they just continued to rage. Against the machine? Yeah, mainly. but largely in, in America, I think. Sure, but, sure. But, um, I tried to mosh, and I got, got moshing, and, um, glasses flew off. <laughs> And I went, I went, I remember, because we were playing away, you know, eh, you know, do what you tell me, yeah. and I went, I was just going, careful, I've just, my, I've dropped my glasses, can we just, <laughs> can we be careful? Loads of kids in, in hooded tops, yeah, exactly. just going mental. Yeah, and they're all jumping up, so I was just, can we just calm down for a second? Let's not be them. silly. Yeah. Yeah. It oh. was absurd, and I had to kind of, you know, scrabble around on the floor, and I, thankfully they were okay, and they didn't get broken. So what couldn't you do then? What do you mean, what can I do? Well, at school, could, can you not, can you not see th without glasses? No. I mean, what, you're, it's like that you couldn't do anything. It's a blur. Really? Yeah, it's a blur, definitely. God. Yeah, it's like being kind of punch drunk or whatever. So yeah, you can't play sports when you, you know, when you've got glasses. But why, why not contact lenses? Because they're, they're not strong enough. No, I just, I don't, it was, they seemed a bit fiddly. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, brilliant! <laughs> bit of Lou Reed. Is that what you want? Yeah, satellite of love. Classic, a retro cut. Lou Reed, with a little help from David Bowie there in the background. Satellite of Love on XFM 
I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Now, Steve, you know how Carl won't do anything outside his jurisdiction. He, uh, he moans about stuff. He's constantly. got one job. We've got- we're doing about five things in the oh, week. Um, we- we just turn up and he's always available. He moans about it. He goes, oh, lucky you caught me, right? He's not- he's chatting. He just win- he's one of those people that, uh, whinges enough and people think he's overworked, so yeah. he got Mondays off, right? He's just one- a whinger. Yeah. I haven't got Mondays off though, have I? Yeah, well, it's anyway. Um, two hours on a Saturday. Uh, mm. this is what- the phone- message he left me Wednesday on my mobile. But I just uh, he's chatting about certain things that are going on at the moment. Uh, what he does need to know. Um, oh, Duncan, who mentions, is my agent. And, you know, you'll- you understand a few other things. But this is the sort of message I get from Carl, right? Window. Old messages. Alright. Ten past twelve. Hello? 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 Yes, this is Carl. Yesterday, DVDs signing for BBC London. They don't work there, but I've been dragged into that. I've got a woman on uh, leaving a message from Talk PR, going on about, do you do you want to go and see Pop Idol again? Right? They're just saying uh, you and some listeners can go. So I'm sure you'll love that. I've got Jim Benner wanting you to introduce the tin buckets at the Astoria. So can can you just like let Duncan know? That I'm, I'm doing his job whilst he's sat on his ass with his thumb firmly up his ass. Can you let him know that I'm running around like a here <laughs> sorting shit out for you? All right, see you later. <laughs> so, do you know what I mean? I know, but that's the kind of phone message he's leaving. But that, but, do you remember but, who he was before but, you? But he's even with? annoyed that he gets a phone call. I remember he got a phone call for you to do a voiceover and didn't yeah. pass it on. You missed a voiceover. That yeah, was thousands yeah. of pounds. No, I did. I did it, pass it on though. I told you. You I did. Said you I said someone had phoned. Yeah. That's not good enough. But who's that? Well, she- she didn't say, and I didn't ask, but- Of course she said! She didn't say. Rubbish. So you didn't take the number down? Just when she went, oh, can you tell Steve to call me, and you went, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> I just thought you'd know her already. I should've oh. known, it was a woman, so... I should've known. He's having a go, you see? Unbelievable. I don't know how he's gone back on me, you're no. the one who was picking on him. Yeah, exactly, I'm saying, I'm defending- why is he having a go but at he you, he never because... picks on Ricky, because he knows you are his bread and butter. <laughs> Seriously, you know what I mean? The only reason he's got Mondays off is because you're still doing this show. Yeah. yeah. That's why he's scared of you, that's why he's like, he has a go at you on the phone, but he always picks on me because he knows, you know, I'm a pushover, I'm a nice guy. He's scared of you. I can't believe, I don't know how it works. Is that true? Steve, I'm always sorting you out, I look after you. I'm sort you out with tickets, I sort you out with lager out. I've got you today, why what, are you picking what, on me? What, what do you mean you're sorting out tickets and lager, what's this? Right, whenever you want tickets. Yeah, yeah sorry, like I don't want to use this as like, moaning time and that, because yeah. I don't like to moan, I'm busy and that, right? <laughs> I've sorted you out tickets for gigs. Yeah. Right? Well, somebody doesn't even turn up to. Yeah. yeah we won't even go on about that. Yes. Right? Lager. He was sorting about the cure, he complained that it was boring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was that big drum of lager that yeah. you had, and you said, oh, put that in your room for me. Yeah. Because I don't want to carry it home. Right? Lazy. So I said, all right, then I'll put it in my room. It goes missing, it gets nicked. Mm. Then you have a go at me because it got nicked. Yeah. I get you another one. You make me carry it around town for you for half an hour, then you say, oh, I can't be bothered taking it home, can you take it back to work for me? Yeah. yeah. But, interestingly, this is like a year ago, so it's, it's, obviously, it's still- still pressing on you, Oh, hang it? on, and I forgot the one when we had an argument over 50p. <laughs> yeah, and we went out for a coffee. You didn't want to 50p back that you owed me. Oh, uh, that was the d same day you'd given him about 40 quid worth of lager. But, see, this is my problem, this was my point at the time. It's not the 50- the 50p in terms of money is not what's important. The fact that you think you don't have to give me money back because it's only 50p, that was the point at the stake. Mm. I- it's me who makes the decision, oh, don't worry about the 50p, not you, it's only 50p, I'm not gonna give it to you. Do you know what I mean? There's mm. gotta be rules, otherwise it's chaos, Carl. Come on, mate. Alright? I don't wanna fall out about it. No, that's not right. <laughs> Should we kiss and make up? Do you want that? Do you want no, that's alright. Yeah. yeah. Well, should yeah. we play a little record and come back to this, cause... I can't believe it started with you slagging him off, Rick, and I've ended up I know. as the monster. I know. Bit of R.E.M. Yeah. R.E.M. and Animal. Animal. I think that animals would be. <laughs> R.E.M. and their animals. What are you talking about? Well, no, I'm just, when, I'm just thinking. I wonder if they've done a video for animals and the animal. What? On a DVD, an animals DVD. Huh? <laughs> what are no, you I'm just saying. About? I'm just, it's, it's R.E.M. there. It's just a good link. R.E.M. animals on a DVD would be. I've got, an, I've got, an, I've got an animals DVD out. 
My you got DVD, yeah, my DVD, yet. my live stand-up's out. Buy it, HMV and Virgin. Should, well, no, I'm just saying. Plug I will, your, no, it's funny. I don't think you should plug it, no, your no, 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 I'm not plugging show. it. It came up in com the animals from REM. Came I don't up. think you should plug your DVD. Well, buy it now. It's a really good stand-up DVD. I, if you're going to buy anything, if you, I mean, it, I, I ought to what? balance this out. Really, if you're going to no. buy a DVD, you should probably buy the Office no. series too because well, I get money for that. That's been on telly. Animals. See, in. Animals hasn't been on telly. The Office has been on telly. I, it's involved with it. Um, uh, but I don't get any money for the, no, the Animals No, I know, but that's DVD. what I mean. I get I everything from Animals, whereas I've got to share the Office where it was with you and some of the other actors, whereas I get the whole, the lion's share, lion's an animal, the lion's share of Animals. It's all mine, you see. Mm. So, mm. The tr I mean, the truth of it is that it's not, I mean, it's your stand-up and it's yeah. not great. It's a bit no, weak. A lot of the observations are quite poor. Writing. No, 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 no. no but You're a great actor. I'm, I'm rubbish in the Office. One Trick Pony. Well, I, I just touch my tie and I look at the ca camera, bored with that. Yeah. Animals, whole new side. Yeah. But 15, frankly, you've been 15 doing. 15 quid. You've been doing so much publicity on TV that, you know, if people have seen it all, they'll have probably seen all the best clips. No, uh, yeah. And, I mean, the there's office, only a couple of decent guys. It's only really the dance and you can get that on a JPEG. So some other great stuff. Don't in buy there. the office. There's some other great stuff in there. No, no. Phoenix Knights is better than the office. So buy Phoenix Knights, don't buy oh. the office. Okay? Well, right, let's get on with it. That's yeah. that. You've. Right, what else is that? You've probably heard most of the stand-up observations <laughs> on this show, so... <laughs> right, what have you got for us? Available in HMV. Go on. Oh, well. Uh, I'm annoyed. Um, oh, office. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, I was walking, uh, away from the show last week, I was walking towards Berwick Street, I like to look at the records and that, the record sure. And I was on my mobile phone, and I was chatting away to someone, and, uh, what can only be described as a prostitute... Go on. Stood on the street corner. Was she a woman that gives you sex for money? Yes. That is a prostitute. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. Go on. And as I was walking by, she said, Do you want to buy sex? <laughs> what a buys? No. You sure my... it wasn't a market trader giving six plums or No, it was summer? definitely. Sex for a quid? No, it was definitely a prostitute. Yeah. And what annoyed me about it, what I wanted to pick her up on something, was the fact that I was on my mobile phone. <laughs> It's like, so can you imagine, who, who would I, I, what, am I gonna hang up? Sorry mum, can I call you back? I've you know, you know you say you want me to meet more women. And you know you sent me that 30 quid <laughs> exactly. for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry Mr Johnson, I'm really excited about the job, can I call you back? I'm just gonna negotiate with a whore. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, it was like, it was just sort of, you could tell that she was clearly probably desperate for crack or a latest yeah. fix of smack. So she was literally, she, the normal etiquette of prostitution, you know, that they hang around, they show some thigh. <laughs> I've seen this in they films. Will, yeah. yeah, exactly. Will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take you out for a meal, that I sort know, of thing. That sort of gone it. out of the window and yeah, she was just sure. there, desperate, running around Did the Did she streets. go out of the window? Like because that's <laughs> another thing they sometimes do, specialist exactly. ones. But I was yeah. shocked because I've never been, uh, propositioned before like that. Really? In London. It's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Carl, thoughts? I. I think you'd be sort of approached a lot because they tend to sort of go for people who look like they haven't got much chance. Sure. And I'm not being mean. No, 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 no. What do you mean? Sorry, I'll let you go back to it. In what way aren't you being mean? By saying that no, Steve- Steve, Steve knows is a little bit odd looking. <laughs> I don't think- well- <laughs> No, he does. Do you know, do you know yeah, before- no, no, but it's not whether what he thinks of his looks, no, no. it's what he thinks of you talking about his looks. On no, but it's it's on. like how you were talking before about, you know, your eyes are bad. It's nature's little way of saying, look, nothing to see here, right? <laughs> don't get that! I don't know what you mean! What when you look in the mirror and that, they've gone, look, he hasn't got the looks, let's make his eyes bad, right? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, see, balancing I... it out, right? Yeah. And it's funny, right? Now we're on the topic. Sorry, sorry, right, Johnny Depp. Hey, listen, <laughs> but... <laughs> My my chest is gonna burst at this but moment. All, whenever we go into this conversation, I always think to myself, Carl, do you know what you look like? <laughs> I I'm gonna. <laughs> do you know, seriously, can I be honest with you? You look like you know if you've got like a balloon, a hot air balloon, right? Just a little balloon, like a party balloon. If you drew a little face on it, right, and inflated it about halfway, that's what you look like. <laughs> right. I so. Wasn't. No, play a record. No, I don't listen, want to get into this. Listen, it's too now, intense. Now, now you've you've got onto this. Let's just nip it in the bud now. I'll tell you something that I wasn't going to tell you because I think it was I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Right, it was on the tube. Right, well, I was. Someone told me they were on the tube. Mm. Right, and um, it uh, the, the tube pulled into a station. <laughs> right, and one of the women saw the poster that's yeah. out at the moment with you and Rick on it. Right, yeah. so this this woman apparently goes, uh, "Oh look, there's uh, it's Ricky. Ricky's on the radio." Right. And, uh, the other woman goes, oh yeah, d d don't you listen to it? So she goes, oh, I didn't, I didn't know it was on the radio. 
And she goes, oh. <laughs> sorry, Steve. Look, I'm sorry, look. Because you didn't look, look you found this bad one. She said, oh, look at that. Look at that person he's with. So she goes, yeah, 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 yeah. She said, that's Steve. She said, I'm kind of, I was sort of aware that he looked odd because Carl mentions it on the radio. Yeah. So, so it wasn't as much of a blow to me, but I can see how it was a bit of a shock to you. Yeah. So, uh, that's, that's, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. And that isn't me sort of telling this woman to say anything. That was all happened without anybody else sort of bringing it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So... Was it... Sorry, you seem to be relishing this. Was it because of the little balloon story that made you... I'll, I'll honestly, Steve, I wouldn't have told you, but if you're gonna start, you know, having a pop... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't just sit here and take sure. it and that. No, no. I mean... Yeah. Ooh, mates. Yeah, it's just, uh... Yeah. Well, I mean, I was mistaken for Johnny yeah. Vegas. Steve's got a story about that, if you wanna... Have a go at me. Well, you'd know someone just thought you were fat with a beard, which is true. Well, don't have a go at me because he said you'd look- Well, you started it. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, did. I didn't. You were milking it. You were I egging was, him I on. I was laughing. You were egging him on. <laughs> I sort of was. Yeah. But let's not, you know. Oh, it's a good job you've got lots of good mates like Jonathan Ross you can go and hang out with. <laughs> don't need other friends, people who've helped you in your career. He's, yeah. he's a good looking bloke, isn't he, Jonathan Ross? He's a good looking fella. Player <laughs> Out of Time by Blur. Luckily, we're not out of time. We've got <laughs> another hour and 25 to go. <laughs> so it's not over yet on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. We've had uh, quite a lot of emails as ever. Rick. I should so. just say, because you know so. we're very it's lazy. It's a much listened to show. We're very lazy people and we rarely reply or read out the emails. But we I do never read the emails. Absolutely so I rely, if I haven't replied to them, all my mail, Steve opens my mail and reads my emails. So if I haven't replied, it's just because he hasn't passed it on to me. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I haven't passed it on to you because I know you'll never reply. Sure. So. You know, I'm just cutting out that. But I uh, just want to say thanks for the emails. We do read some of them, and we do appreciate the fact people send in jokes. Oh, I appreciate it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, we've had um, to do anything towards it. Sure, we had an email from Jack. He just said he missed the last two weeks' shows. Has he missed anything? Not really. No, no, it's the same stuff. Same you missed. Garbage. I think Carl last week. Carl was having a go at uh, Chinese people not aging well. He had a go at the gays. And he came up with a ludicrous story about a monkey that was impossible. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think Jack's missed much. No. <laughs> Go on. No. Uh, we've just had an email from the Pringles people. Oh, they, uh, it, right, good, because it's finally started to happen. I hear these stories about people getting given cars and Armani suits and trips abroad, and we haven't had enough, but finally, people are starting to, you know, realise what we're doing, our impact <laughs> on society, yeah. and we've got a whole box of Pringles sent to us. Not on those little <laughs> tubes, the proper tubes, the foot-long tubes. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> and I, you know, well, what have they said? Well, the Pringles they guys want have them said, back. No, 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 they've said, uh, they like the show, and if you want more Pringles, Give them a call and they'll I, send you I more Pringles. Pringles. Yeah. I bloody love Pringles. Yeah. Pringles are The thing about Pringles is, um, uh, they're, they're Moorish, right? Yeah. But, uh, how would I, how would I put it? You know the, the sort of thing, uh, when you open, when I open them, yeah. and by that, I, I, when I pop. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I have to eat the, well, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put this. When I pop, I can't stop. What do you mean? I don't- Well, when I pop, when I pop them open, I can't yeah. stop eating them open. Right, when you pop, you can't stop. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's because of the chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be the reason. But they're good chemicals. They're, they're good, good chemicals. chemicals. They're the best chemicals. Pringle chemicals. They're not bad chemicals. Like, Lovely. Using chemical so water. yes, I want some more Pringles. Yes, what so else more, do they do? Pringles. It's interesting actually you were saying that like other people, <laughs> you know, like Kylie I imagine would get given sort of maybe sexy underwear. You got uh, Robbie Williams where he gets the Armani suits. You get sent the crisps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's nice to be sent. Isn't I, it? um, Go on. Talking of Pringles, I, yeah. on the Finchley Road tube station, yeah. right on the way in, there's I'll a lot of Pringles there, Well, I'll tell you a job I don't like. What? I wouldn't want to be doing. The- the woman, there's a little woman who sits in the little <laughs> snack stall on Finchley Road. Station, yeah. And I don't know how to describe it, really. She is surrounded by snacks. She can't move for snacks. It's Does like- it like American it, Beauty, but with- with, uh, different- Not dissimilar to that. Yeah. It's a little hut on the station. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, if you go to the seaside, you can put your head through one of those cardboard cutouts and it looks like you're a big fat person or whatever and you yeah. can have your photo taken. It's like an equivalent of that, but it's just snacks everywhere. She's got bananas up to her chin. 
<laughs> she's got chocolate coming down from her eyes, crisps either side of her. She can't move. She can't do 360 degrees. She's like packed in there. I don't think, I don't know how she gets in there. I think morning. they put her in her first and they put, okay, pour in the bananas. Yeah. They go, and then they go, go pour in the nuts. She has and two hours of makeup before yeah, they open. Exactly, yeah. Dressing her in there. Because I'll ask for something from the fridge and she cannot turn her head to see. She She's has to go by feel alone, just to feel the fridge, <laughs> and get stuff out and pass it. And often I'll say, that's not what I wanted, but she can, you gotta let her off. It's oh, extraordinary. Dear. But there's no music playing, Does she have to nothing? sell her way out of it? <laughs> exactly. If, 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 if it's a slow day, she's stuck yeah. there till the next day. Yeah, it's like a world-breaking attempt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, dear. That's Finchley Road, so if you, you So know. if, yeah, if you're on Finchley Road, or just wanna pop down there, have a look at the snack woman, cause it is, uh, it's How does she get refills, though? I don't know how it works. I don't know how she goes to the toilet or eats. I don't know what she does. Yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, God bless her. That's, that's, so that's one of the jobs you wouldn't That's have. jobs I would not like. I've yeah. always worried about working in one of those big photocopying places. Sure. Cause it's just, that's constant taste of toner. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so dry and just, just, I, I just imagine going to work with a hangover. Yeah. Eight hours in that sort of I environment. I think it's those jobs where what's the best that can happen? <laughs> that day, do you know what I mean? The photocopying shot. What's the best? Well, they that... probably have interesting things, like they, you know, people going and photocopying porno, I... porno mags. <laughs> <laughs> can I have thirty copies of my art? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I couldn't make it to the to staff party. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I wonder if I <laughs> yeah. could do that in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, what job wouldn't you want to do? Well, any job. You're a lazy. F you're yeah. Joking, aren't you? But... I've done loads of stuff. This, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy now doing what I'm doing. Yeah, you but, look uh, happy. I think you I sound happy. Yeah, I mean, uh, calm down. You on drugs? <laughs> I'm all right. I Are you on E? I'm happy for England have won and that. I'm what? happy for them. Yeah, go on. I'm happy for them. I'm happy in that. Yeah. What do you mean happy for them? We are England. Happy yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we didn't play. I did very little <laughs> towards it. No. It was mainly Johnny Wilkinson. Yeah, I barely the contributed. Left. Switching on the TV was about as much <laughs> as I did. <laughs> exactly. And shouting, come on! Yeah. <laughs> Talking about jobs and that, though, I was reading the other day about, um, like, you know, rubbish jobs that people have had and stuff. I haven't got time when I work, man. <laughs> just, I just get on with it. I'm not squiddly diddly. <laughs> Fingers in pies, different jobs. Go on. Uh, do you know Ivan the Terrible? Ivan. He, uh... It's, yeah, his <laughs> Russian... Yeah, that was the Welsh fella. Who yeah. was, who was bloody awful, <laughs> but not as bad as his Russian cousin. Ivan, yeah. go on. He, uh, he had a fella doing some work for him, right? <laughs> this fella built his house. Uh, after it was done, right, yeah. uh, the terrible fellow was like, uh, <laughs> fella Ivan. he, he yeah. was going, oh, it's brilliant, you've, you've done a good job there. Yeah. I don't want you to build another one like that. Took his eyes out. Just what? stopped him making an house like that. Again. Blimey. That's why bad, isn't it? Why didn't he take away his trowel? Then he could have seen, <laughs> yeah. but he couldn't have built a house without, without a trowel. You can't build a house without a trowel. Yeah. I, I, I suppose that. he- I, I suppose he probably later thought that, once he'd been nicknamed Ivan the Terrible. Yeah, yeah. He thought, why? Why? Because you gouged people's eyes out. Yeah, but I didn't want to build another house. I know, but- Take his trowel away. What would I have been then? Well, <laughs> Ivan the crafty, at most. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, uh, Ivan the jealous, you know, Ivan yeah. the spoiled brat, but- Yeah. Ivan- uh, Go to someone's eyes, it's, that is bloody terrible. I'm surprised you're not called Ivan the- Do you know what I yeah. mean? you're gonna get on an history like with Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. He's mainly remembered for impaling people. Yeah. He did a lot of other stuff. He did a load of great charity work he did. It, the impaling remembered. is the thing that's really yeah. gone down in history. <laughs> when were you reading about Ivan the Terrible? No, it's just Or little Ivan stories. the Terrible is the, the, the <laughs> thing you remembered from this uh, informative article. No, it was, it was just little bits like that. It, talking about him, there was a thing about, uh, someone who worked for that, that fella who painted the ceiling. Sistine Chapel. Yeah. There was answer. a thing, the, the, a woman who worked for him in his house and, um... I love how you assimilate information when it's just bordering on the academic or just, uh, or just the interesting and true. It's wonderful. Ivor the Terrible gouged someone's eyes out because built him an house. The f that fella who painted that ceiling <laughs> had a woman work for him. Imagine if you wrote that down in an essay. <laughs> Imagine if you wrote that in a school essay. Well, you probably end up with not not getting a grade, or yeah, or, or thinking you turned yeah. up to more than you had. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, the Go woman on. who lived with yeah, the woman who lived in a shoe. Go on. Yeah, there was this woman who uh, who lived with him, and yeah. uh, she used to like you know go out and do all this shopping and that. Yeah. Uh, but because she couldn't read or write, he used to have to draw everything that he wanted. Why couldn't he just tell her? I don't know. No, but, but just... that, no, no, no. Wait, that's an excellent point. <laughs> Could she talk? Yeah, but if it's a big list and that, loads of different coloured paints. But why couldn't she draw? 
draw on a piece of paper. Why did he have to do it? Because he's a better drawer, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. That's it. That is- we were just looking for the logic of the story. You found it. You've done it. Play a record. He's a better drawer. <laughs> <laughs> I Don't Owe You Anything by The Smiths on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl, over to you. This is the, uh, the time where we play, well, the world Rock famous busters. quiz, isn't it? Rockbusters, isn't it? Yeah. Which is... Blackbusters, but with music. See you later. <laughs> cryptic clues and that. Do you want to say Not Steve, really. Not really cryptic, but go We've got a number of DVDs to give away, uh, including some, uh, teacher's DVDs. We've got a bunch of CDs here, and also Ricky Gervais's, uh, live stand-up DVD. Animal, Animals, brilliant. Which cool. is not good at all. I really would not encourage people to buy that. It is well. weak observations, poorly performed. <laughs> I would recommend the Office Series 2 on DVD. Rubbish That's in that. Available. I'm awful in that. You can actually see me forgetting some of my lines. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Right then, so cryptic clues, um, just an example, might be new, I reckon people will be staying in today because it's raining and that, so, yeah. might not have heard it before, yeah. so, like, uh... Or they have and they're not listening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. Uh, oh good, you gave up on that, did you? Three, three... <laughs> well, give us an example of the sort of thing. Uh, that, that, uh... Jeez. Alright, maybe don't. Listen, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a broadcaster. And, uh, yeah. yeah, words are my tool. <laughs> Go on. All right, forget Come that. Come on, Baldy. Right, three, three clues. Then here's the first one. It's a band or an artist. Yeah. Right. I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? Good point. Good question. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so, yeah. If it had been why you're going to the northwest, that's a different yeah. matter. Go going on. to the northeast. What are you going there for? Right. Yeah. S is the initial, so it's a band or an artist who's who starts with an S, and that's the clue. Right. Second one. Uh, oh yeah, she's uh, she's related to the man in the lamp. Right. That's G. Right. She's related to the man in the lamp. Right. And the third one is uh, the Jamaican fella would love to live there, but it's a little bit pricey. <laughs> Oh God, I feel an accent coming That's on. That's one where you're gonna have to think about it with the accent. I the imagine. Initials there, D S D S for that one, right? So the Jamaican fellow would love to live live there, but you know, a bit dear and that, isn't it? a bit pricey. So, uh, <laughs> so, so give us some again quickly. Right, the first one. I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? That's S. <laughs> She's related to the man in the lamp, you know. That's G. Changes and a bit. And the Jamaican fellow would love to live there, but a little bit pricey. Mm -hmm. And okay. that's DS, so uh, email in or text and that. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. What's or the text? text 83xfm. Uh, yeah. What's that? Surprises. So. Brilliant. Right. Play some ads? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Steve, is there anything wrong with a bit of old fashioned rock and roll? Yes or no? I do not believe so. Well, then there's, there's Jet, so. Roll over DJ on yeah. XFM 104.9. Who are you? Ricky Gervais, who are you? Steve Merchant. Who's that little bald mank, mm -hmm. whinging twat over there? Carl Pilkington. Yeah, sure. Right. Lonely. <laughs> 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 All right. No. Oh, go on. Rick, as you know, there's always <laughs> junk lying around in this, uh, studio, and not all of it is Rockbusters prices. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. And there's, uh, I'll just be- So it's the playlist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, um, I was, uh, just flipping through an old copy of the Guardian Guide from last week, sure. you know, the little listings thing. Yeah. And you know, I don't know if people might have seen it, we did a, there was a documentary on this week about the transfer of um, British sitcoms to America. Yeah. And uh, we did an interview for that because they're remaking the show over in the States. And I'm just flicking through and I just, I noticed there's a little write-up about it here. And it says, uh, da -da 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 and it says, quoting me, it says, We don't care if David Brent becomes a woman, burble Steve Merchant, eyes bulging with imagined riches. <laughs> No, my eyes bulge normally. That's not me being well, greedy, that's you know just that me. I did uh, on it when I sort of like rub my fingers together and do that stupid Brent. But people take that seriously. I know. I know. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Oh, some people got it, but um, I think it was something the paper the next day said uh, uh, Gervais's mannerisms could have been transferred as uh, dollar signs. Well, I was really yeah. sarcastic. <laughs> exactly. I was doing it like that. I was pretending that I just cared about the money. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. irony. Uh, you see, people say Americans don't get irony. Most people here don't get irony. Absolutely right. Th that's yeah. why they think this show's rubbish. Yeah. 
I know. <laughs> we fooled them. Yeah. We've had the last laugh. <laughs> exactly. We think it's really good. <laughs> exactly. Carl, come on. That that was. That, let's have some news. Let's have some. Let's do some proper radio. Have you? All, 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 the, all your news comes from Anna Nova, doesn't it? What will Doctor Fox do that. about now at two o'clock? He'd do some amusing some news. news. It. It's coming up for two, and here is the uh, news with Carl Pilkington. Well, like I said, it's just it's just headlines and that. I don't bother reading on if no I like point. the headlines. And it's all from Anna Nova, story. not yeah. from a newspaper. Or it's not made up or anything. These no, are okay then. Well, let's so. see. Let's see. Okay, imagine Trevor McDonald doing this. It's, These are uh, real news headlines. Okay then. Well, they're real. They're real to Carl. Okay, here we go. And here is the news with Carl Pilkington. Bong! Man hidden- hi, man hidden wardrobe to avoid work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Right. Bong! Teenager gets stuck in washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Bong! Dutchman has two right feet. <laughs> <laughs> Bong! Cow hit by train lands on farmer's wife. <laughs> 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 That is the real news to you, isn't it? <laughs> That's brilliant. brilliant. Oh, did, oh. <laughs> oh I was just great. think of the cow flying through the air. Yeah. And the wife going, oh no. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Dutch man has two right feet. Yeah. He's having some operation or something and uh What they they put the wrong foot on him? He's got two right feet or something. Well maybe it was only a right foot that was available. Good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. What, what well, else? in real news, I was, um, I followed that thing with, uh, it was that fella that got into the palace when Bush was there. Right, an undercover journalist. journalist. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it would have been a problem if he was a terrorist, mm. but it's sort of like, and, and as the palace said, you know, all our tests are to expose terrorists, not journalists. Yeah. I, I just think it was, it was no big deal, really. Yeah. I think it was much more big a deal for well, the journalists than anyone else. It was like, well, okay, well, all the journalists in the world can pop up as long as as long as no terrorists get in. Yeah, we're all right. Exactly. Yeah, a, a bloke just got through a terrorist. No, an ice cream seller. Yeah, that's all right. Then. It was like the waiting hand for it. I can't believe it. it's Baz Bamingboing from the <laughs> Daily Mail. <laughs> yeah, and that, I think that's Gary Bushell. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but um, it was just that he. All he did wrong, though, was just lied on his CV. Well, I think he did. But everyone lies on their CV. Of course. Of course. Oh, everyone actually, gives I don't, references. I don't think I've ever- I don't think I've ever done a CV. I- I tried to lie, I did one once. When I was at Ulu and I was an events manager, I applied for a job at Radio 1 for events manager. Didn't even get an interview. Yeah. So I just stopped the CV lot. Sure. And I just, you know. The one knock back and that was exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. No, yeah. So, uh. You've lied on your CV, have you, Carl? Yeah, load. Yeah. It's just, um. It's like something from Little Britain. Yeah, no. Yeah, loads. Yeah, go on. Come on. There, there was Radio, one when, uh, on. there was a job going at Granada. In fact, this isn't even lying, and I still didn't get the job. Go right? on. But, uh, Granada. Well, you don't get a job just because you don't lie. It's not, have you lied? No, you got the job. <laughs> yeah. No, but there was a, they ask you loads of stuff, don't they, that you think, oh, that's got nothing to do with the job. I don't know why you're bothering me asking me st certain stuff, right? Qualifications, things like that, yeah. Yeah. But, well, it was languages. Yeah. Right? What did it say? It just said, uh, you know, put your name, put your address, languages, right? And, um... What? Oh, yeah. What and I you, just... What, what, you don't speak any other languages, do you? Well, I just put English quite good. <laughs> you didn't! No, I did. Honestly, I asked Suzanne. I think you told me this before. Did you really put English quite good? Yeah. Honest to God. Didn't get- didn't hear that. <laughs> well, you know what they meant now, that you know what the- you know what your error was, don't you? Uh. Are you fluent in French, German, Chinese? Yeah, but I didn't want them to think I've got loads of big words and that. Do you what? know what I mean? Well, I don't use loads of big words and stuff. No, they meant, no do point. you speak any other languages? It's any other languages, Carl, not the they ones They assume your that native you can speak English because you're filling out a form. Yeah. Oh, well, it's like language is none. They, <laughs> yeah. can, they assume you can speak something and they probably think it was English. And to put quite good when you are English. Yeah. English is your first language, yeah, I'm quite good at it. I see your point, though. You're it's true, though, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. I I'm not sure quite good is accurate. <laughs> no, poor. English, <laughs> yeah, weak. poor. <laughs> weak. <laughs> that you didn't get the interview, no? What did Suzanne say when you told her you'd put that? She just laughed. It was really? too late, it was too late to do anything. That was rare. Don't want to talk about tonight. it? She's off today, so. Is it alright, is it? Oh, she's, she's listening, you mean? She's at home today. But it was, it's probably alright now, isn't it? Because a bad hair day, it doesn't yeah, yeah, but it'll be nice. It'll be nice, not today. <laughs> You're scared of her, aren't you? No. 
I mean, I don't want to. You've learned, or you've learned your lesson that you know, you can't talk about people like that, and because it upsets them. Well, plus I can't do it all now because we're doing Pulp Fiction later, and it sort of involves the red. <laughs> so brilliant. <laughs> So let's Excellent. There's me thinking that you were being considerate. Yeah. All worried about You don't want to use up the material <laughs> until <laughs> later. <laughs> Play record! Travis. Beautiful occupation. What's the best job you've ever had still, Carl? Talk about occupations. It is still paper the- Paper round. Is it still <laughs> the paper round? Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, it was good though. If you look at it, like- you know, what I liked about it, you're your own boss. No, you're not. You're not your own boss. <laughs> no, the, the bloody news agents, agents is your boss. Alright. But then when, once you get out and you've got your papers and that, you, you sort of, you're on your Do own. Do you want as long as you deliver stuff. the papers exactly to the places he said you are in the time he said? Yeah. It's freedom, isn't it? <laughs> Any jobs you wouldn't do? Uh, I've just thought of one that you wouldn't do. Go on. With your sort of mild homophobia. Well, I'm not. Proctologist. What's that? Basically sticking your finger at other people's asses. Right, well, n I wouldn't do that, no. Why have you got to do that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, why have you got to do well, that? why does anyone need that doing? Does they got to look if they've got an arse ache or something? Which trainee doctor makes that their speciality? <laughs> do you know what I mean? That must be, um, right, we got our place for our and it's, it's you, Meadows. You, you yeah. came last. Oh, seriously, what? I'm not the arse doctor, am I? Yeah. You came last. Oh, I'm a bum, a bum GP. I can't yeah, believe yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You got to, oh, I can't believe this. Yeah. That must be it, mustn't it? Well, or, presumably no one would choose it. No one would purely, if they can have the brain surgery, Well, if they, what if you were brilliant but you were shy, you couldn't look people in the face? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could yeah. be in, you could do anything you want. No, I just, I just don't want to look at, I just want to do their asses. Yeah. Really? <laughs> just want to do the asses. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, look at Carl's face! You didn't, you didn't know there was such a thing as an arse doctor, did you? N no, not really. Specialise. He does nothing all day but that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he probably has a sandwich about <laughs> one o'clock. Yeah. Washes his hands. What do you mean he does nothing all day but that? You don't say that about a brain surgeon, a thoracic surgeon, do you? No, but that all day. That that's not good, is it? <laughs> I love the fact that I can blow his mind yeah. with <laughs> just things that people take for granted. A dentist just looks in mouths all day. Yeah, but that that. Oh, that's, that's a bum what? job, that. Bum job. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of that. Oh. So look. what What do you need to know then there? It's a lot, a lot to know. You gotta have nice nails. Got yeah. Rough, no rough edges. Well you'd be alright, cause, cause you've got that job handing out biscuits to the old people cause you had nice hands, didn't you? So, yeah. And I know a lot about biscuits. I know my biscuits. <laughs> do you? Yeah, yeah, I know which ones they like and that. Do you? What do they like? What do old people like? Spobons. Uh, Rich Do they C. really? Because that's my least favourite. I, I would never eat a bourbon. I, I could be starving and I wouldn't eat a bourbon. If you want to let us know what your favourite biscuit is, <laughs> email in. Ricky yeah. Dodger like But I'll tell you what, some with all them eating biscuits, I bet they get arse problems, don't they? So you could double up, couldn't you? You could be handing out biscuits in the morning and checking, <laughs> checking out. So what, what, why would you go and have that done then? What sort of problems then? What do you mean? Loads of problems. Like what? Prostate. And they've got to go there, you, they, they have to, like, have a little, little, you know, problem. Well, that, there was that, I told you that story, that, that bloke, um, um, uh, it's not an apocryphal tale because it's, it's about an orderly's report and, uh, this is the bloke that filled out the form of what happened. He went into hospital basically with a, a sauce bottle up his ass, and, um, on the report, uh, he, for, he said, uh, obviously, you know, pleasuring himself using a, a sauce bottle. And on the, um, the report he had to fill out, he said that he'd been shopping <laughs> at Safeways and he'd come in with his shopping and he'd, he'd forgot his key so he'd put his bags down <laughs> on the step, right? And he started climbing up the drain pipe to get in, right? But as he was climbing up, <laughs> his trousers and pants fell down. <laughs> he slipped and fell and the sauce bottle went up his ass. And the orderly said this story would be somewhat believable if Safeway sold their sauce bottles with condoms already attached. <laughs> That's like a game of kaplunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so he put, I love that he put a condom on it. I wonder if that was so he didn't want to get an infection from it or he wanted to use it on his chips later. <laughs> so um, waste not, want not. Talking of arse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blockbusters. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> we, uh, we should give those clues again because we're not getting many f right responses here. Let's give them once more. Oh, do you know what person. I think? Because the mentalist out there get his clues and they're rubbish, so I think his clue must be so way I off- I know, I know. That it's something wrong. Do you know what a pun is, don't you? You can't change the word. You can't have, um, oh, he, he, he's, he's bald and he rides a bike. Who's that? Bicycle Stipe. <laughs> that doesn't count. It's <laughs> gotta be Michael Stipe for it to be correct. It's got to be Michael Stipe, yeah? Alright, well, we've got- the most we've had, we've got two right, right? So- Let's hear the clues again. Right. First one was, I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? S. It's a band or an artist that starts with S, right? I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? Second one, she's related to the, uh, to the man in the lamp. Right? That's G. Band or an artist. The last one. The Jamaican fellow would love to live there. It's a bit pricey though. Right? <laughs> D-S. Right? D-D-S. D-S. Email in or text in. Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Or on the text, 83XFM. <laughs> right? <laughs> Bob Dylan. <laughs> Dylan's of course playing in London this week. Yeah. And uh, Good luck to him. classic. Bob Dylan, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue from 1960-something. <laughs> Bit of trivia for you, Steve. Go on. That is the last record we ever played on the old XFM before we were fired. Mm, I bet that was a moving moment for about <laughs> eight people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just thought of summer. You know that, that, that thing we did about, they said that we just cared about the money selling it to America? Yeah. If we cared about money, yeah. would we be here now? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, know, I, know. I think this proves that we don't do things for the f money. <laughs> exactly. Jesus. All right, um, Carl. Couple of emails. Monkey Matt's emailed us. Who? Monkey Matt. Oh, Matt. Yeah, go on. Yeah. He says. How's uh, the monster? He's all right. He says uh, Carl has missed a cracking headline from the sport. Hide and seek champion found dead in cupboard. <laughs> I hope it's real. <laughs> I don't know if it is. <laughs> I doubt it. Just looking through some of the news stories that Carl did make it into Carl's news roundup. Yeah. Um, Bomb. Just this one you might, might be interested in. Headline, woman says partner ran off to become vampire. Yeah. And it says a young mother says her partner has dumped her to become a vampire. Rebecca Roberts from Somerset mm, says Matthew Barrett yeah. fell for a blood worshipping woman in a US cult. The 23 year old mother says she, he began shaving all his body hair, dressed in black, and used Rebecca's lipstick to redden his eyes. Rebecca caught him performing weird blood rituals in front of his computer at night, cutting himself to prove commitment. She said, I thought it was just a hobby. <laughs> Everyone's got a right to one. I was pleased he'd found an interest. Brilliant. This is apparently from The Sun. Uh, apparently he's left. He's gone to America. He's living in this o Ohio-based cult. But it's the last bit where she's been asked whether or not if he came back, would she take him back? Sure. And this is where I wonder if the journalist, you know how journalists are supposed to just report the news, be objective. Yeah. I wonder if maybe the journalist here has maybe had some interference. <laughs> Made the quote better for Possibly, them than go on. Because it says, um, I never thought this would take over his life. Now, if he came back, I'd say fangs, but no fangs. <laughs> <laughs> but oh dear! I can't believe. Imagine you're the woman, Rick. Okay. And I've come round. You're the you. journalist. I'm the journalist, and I've okay. come in and I've said, "I can't read." All I have to do is not say that yeah, thing. You've okay. come. You've come. I don't see you. Obviously, quite upset. You know, yeah. It's gone gutted. Off. Um, if he came back, would you take him back? Definitely not. Right. Really, what would you say to him if he came just back? Just get lost. Right, but I know. I'm really pissed off with you. Would you perhaps say something a bit more pithy? Pith- not in this situation, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're he, upset. He cuts himself, he drinks blood, he's left me. Sure, no, sure, sod sure. off. I'm not interested, mate. Because I'll tell you what. Go on. I mean, I like what you said there, but I wonder yeah. if we could condense that a bit more. If he came uh, back, would you say- Go away. Would you say something- would you ever say something like, thanks, but no thanks? No, because that sound- it makes it flippant, because I'm really angry. I know you're annoyed. And I'm upset, so I wouldn't sure. say- I certainly what, wouldn't say thanks. I'd say- I might say no thanks. But what if- you, what if you sort of <laughs> said it, like, aggressively, like, you were giving him the finger? Thanks, but no thanks. Like, you didn't really what, mean sort it. sort of sarcastically? Sarcastically. Would you possibly I say I it? might say thanks, but no thanks, and right. that'd be it, and that's right. that, and, and I'd leave it there. I'd yeah. never- and I'd never change that. Sure. I'd never change those words. Can I ask you a question? Go on. Do you like puns? N hate them. Right. I don't like it's Countdown, I don't like QI, I don't like any of those past Cambridge, Oxford type. I, ha I hate ha puns. If you had to say thanks but no thanks in the form of a pun, what would you maybe say? I wouldn't. I never would. Right. I'd say thanks but no thanks. I would, you know, I, I mean, I feel embarrassed that I'd even say that because I don't think I would even say thanks but no thanks. <laughs> okay. But if I did go that far, I'd leave it there. Sure. Sure. So. Have you ever noticed, as I have, go on, the similarity between the word thanks 
and fangs. Not really. It's, it's very similar. Not fangs, really. F T H. There's a K. Fangs very much. G. It's A and S. Well, the A, the N, and the S. But that's about Would it. Would you agree? It sounds marginally similar. Uh, yeah. Sort Is of. it possible you might one day say fangs, but no fangs? I wouldn't know. Right. I could put that though, could I? But don't say it, I said it. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. Fangs, but no fangs. Yeah. This is the thing, this is the thing. Just, if you ever read an article in the sun, the mirror, anything, do not believe it. Really seriously question and query it, because- If it ends with fangs, no if fangs. If it ends with a pun, yeah. almost yeah. certainly they never said it. <laughs> yeah. Feeder. You know what? Um, I'm annoyed at now, right? We've got another ad break coming up. How many ad breaks have we had in this show? I know. Carl, how many ad breaks it's have we not, had in this show? It's about three an hour. Three or four an hour. Three or four an hour. So I've got three minutes. So, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes is wasted on shite. I mean, apart, <laughs> apart, apart from the stuff we talk well, about. Well, it's funny you should say that, because, um, someone said to me last week that they felt that there were more adverts now on the show than there used are to be. Are there more adverts Rick, in I this think, show? though, no. I think, just checking some of the emails, I think that's be be because people are requesting them. <laughs> they find them more entertaining <laughs> than what we're giving them. But. It, it, can't we sort this well, out? Don't go on about it. No, no, can't we though? Why can't we? Why can't we have less? Why have we got so many? Is it? What happens? Doesn't it? Ah, oh, well, no. Oh, they, you can't listen to radio in every uh, after every record. It's bad enough trying to keep them listening with the rubbish we come out yeah, with. Yeah, we've got rockbusters here. Let's get them back. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> Right, Come on the first, then. Right, has uh, anyone got all three? No. No, right, okay, so there's some- I'm gonna be ang- I'm gonna ban Rockbusters. Cos- okay, go on then, what are the clues again? Tell me the answers. Well, give us the ones that they did get. Alright, well they did get, um, She's Related to the Man in the Lamp. What's that? That was G. That Gina- was, That was- That Genie. was- Genesis. Right? Genesis? Like Genesis. So, <laughs> G- the sister of the genie, Genesis, Genesis, they got that one. No, 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 what, what, what's the band's name? Genesis. No, 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 Genesis. say the band name. Genesis. 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 Right, okay. Well, I don't get it, because Genie is nothing well, like that. Well, they did, so don't right, worry okay. about it. Stop worrying about the ads, stop worrying about that, alright? The third one was, uh, the Jamaican fella would love to live there. Go on. But it's a little bit pricey. Go on. Right? That what was, was the initial? DS. Deer Streets. Right? What? It's, it's a Deer Street to live on. Deer Streets? Oh yeah, I haven't heard of them. They, but well, they're banned. That's, that's Dire Straits. No, it's not Dire Straits! It's not Dire Straits! Oh, dear Streets! The Jamaican fella. Go on, go on, there. make it sound like that. Like dear Streets. Dear Streets. <laughs> dire Do it again. Straits. No, it's still not. Keep going. I haven't got it yet. Dear, go on. Dear Streets. Dear Streets. They got that one as well, so. Alright, well, let's hear the one they did. Can I do an impression of a Jamaican fella saying Dire Straits? Right. <laughs> dire uh, Streets. <laughs> the first it's not one, the same! The first one they struggled struggle with was, um, I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? Well, you know, when you say struggled with, no one got this. No one got it. People go on then. Didn't even attempt it. Okay, go on the northeast. What? I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? Seal. S seal. What? Hull. Hull's up in the northeast. Isn't Hull it? is. Yeah, Sea yeah. Hull. Yeah. Yeah. So I haven't heard of them for? either. Is that a seal? Right. S so that works. Who's seal? Seal. seal. So, oh, seal. Yeah. What's that got to do with the north, though? Seal. So I would say it, innit? Okay, that's the end of Rockbusters. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's the end of Rockbusters. I can't believe we even brought it back, Rick. Right? I'm, I'm serious, that's the end of Rockbusters. Can I be honest with you? Go on. I'd love to hear some adverts now instead of that. Well, I'm So would I. That is- that, adverts are better than that. Yeah. I'm just saying Laura- Doesn't matter. Laura's Fine. the one we've Well done, Laura. Right? She well done, Laura. Two, but we'll give her that. Yeah, just play the so, ads. Right. I'm actually looking forward to the ads. Really looking forward to it. I hope there's a <laughs> phone. <laughs> Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. We're all in love on XFM 104.9. Um, sorry about, um, Rockbusters. Uh, that's the end of it. Definitely. Cause it's, it, it was, it was dreadful. Do you know what I mean? It's not, do you know what I mean, Steve? Yeah. It's quite funny, but that was, that was awful. I, I mean, we've apologised for that quiz so many times. I know, we've given it, uh, I think it's two like comebacks. No, they don't, they don't like, like it. it. They, they don't like they it cause it's like it, That's two, it. that, people, no, no, that, that's the end of that. Um, less adverts next week, sort that out. Yeah. Cause it's just, it's awful, 20 minutes of adverts. Do you know what I mean? It's not what people listen for. So, um, right, redeem yourself. Have you got the film thing you're in? Right, yeah, I'm in a film. Uh, it's Pulp Fiction this week. Right. Right. 
change that a little bit, tweak the storyline a little bit. <laughs> okay. It's just to make uh, it better, yeah. It's just a. Do you know I've talked about Suzanne's hair on that? Yeah. About when she got it caught, didn't like it, and that. Yeah. So it's sort of about that. Uh, listen to it. There'll be a question at the end. You can win some good stuff. Yeah. Well. Right. So, <laughs> and this is the scene where they're in the restaurant. Do you know when they're about to do yeah. the the robbery? Yeah. Except it's not a restaurant. Change that. It's a barber's. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. God. There you go. Then. Oh, is there going to be a question after this? Yeah. yeah. Stay there. Okay. All right. A uh, girlfriend came in here earlier. Had a haircut. I'm not happy with it. Look at the state <laughs> of that. Well, d don't laugh. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't want to cause any fuss, but just, just want you to sort it out. I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, you can do that because it looks a mess. Look, my friend, this is just where you and I differ. Well, well, you, you've got to do something because look at it. When she came through the front door at home, I thought Dave Hill out Slade had walked in. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. Look, we, I don't want to cause any problems or anything. She hasn't even seen it properly yet. She sort of had it cut and came straight home and didn't, didn't look at it. Suzanne, just look in that mirror. Look what they've done to your head. God damn it, what is it? <laughs> Suzanne! Get out of now! We're not going to do anything stupid, are we? I'm the manager here. There's no problem. What do you mean it's not a problem? Look at the state of her hair. Be calm, cooperate, and this will all be over in a minute. I'm going to go home. Well, we're not going anywhere until they've sorted your hair out. I'm, I'm not walking home with you, with your hair like that. It's, in, it's embarrassing, so... So let's just get it... You die. No, forget having it die. Just get it cut. Colour's not a problem. Just sort it out. Just get rid of... Let's see what we can do. Right. Good. Look at it. Look at the state of it. I'm trying real hard. Suzanne, just keep your head still there so you can... Just hang in there, baby. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. <laughs> just sort that bit out there. Just cut that. My barber says I've got the, uh, the hair of a Chinaman. Have you, have you heard that before? <laughs> what? What's, what's so funny about that? Is it, is it serious or what? Freaking me out. If my answers frighten you, you should cease asking scary questions. It's almost over. There you go. No, it's not. It's not brilliant, but that'll have to do, won't it? I reckon we'll have to buy her a, uh, a hat on the way home. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> do you think Suzanne's listening? It's all right, isn't it? I love the <laughs> I like the fact that in that she's represented with a sort of dimwit southern accent. Yeah. Your girlfriend. So I'm yeah. sure she would have appreciated that. Oh, it was well. nice, yeah. It was a nice. I, I don't know what kind of copyright infringements <laughs> <laughs> that has made. Yeah. But, uh, right, well, that. the question is what did I say is odd about my hair? Odd about your hair? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, right. yeah. Fans of the show will know that already, I'm sure. Yeah. So uh, email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk or. Uh, yeah, just email, actually. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Bud! Right. Yeah. You can win some tat. <laughs> the usual address. That is a beautiful record. Yeah, this is Thunder Road by Bruce Springsteen, as recorded by Badly Gone Boy. Really enjoy it. Good job. Badly Gone Boy doing his version of Bruce Springsteen's Thunder Road. Good effort. FM 104.9. Tricky song to uh, do a good version of, but not good bad. Good effort. Not bad. Good um, badly. Tell you what, he's also made a good effort. Go on. Stephen Gunning of yeah. Tooting, he's correctly identified that Carl's hair is like that of a Chinaman's. Oh, it was. Uh, yeah, many other people have emailed in saying, how can we know what your hair's like, because you are a bold mank. Yeah. So people have correctly... Is, uh, it, is our that. language okay on this show, in general? <clears throat> I've told you that, you know, to be careful on that. Yeah, why don't you try putting some effort into it as you get Mondays off for this two hours? You come up with Rockbuster clue that no one can get because it was impossible, it wasn't even a clue. Uh, I've got, okay. got your headlines. I've done Pulp Fiction, right? I taught you about that fella, the builder fella, and, and his eyes and that. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you've taught me. It's sort of like you borrow information. It, 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 it's like one of those things that, you know, what are those things called, um, uh, read, 
write once, read many. It, it can just pass it on, and it's, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those CDs you can just play once. Well, it struck me that is you and information. It goes in. If you tell someone once, it's like you've lost it. It's like you've it's like past the parcel <laughs> with knowledge. It's gone now. You don't even remember what you told me. Like a chain letter. What? Just you mean chain letter, don't you? Shut up. Um. It struck me when we were listening to his yeah. phone call to you at the very beginning of the show, I don't know if you might have missed that, but basically it was a message that Carl left for Ricky. But about halfway through that message, there was the feeling, I don't know if you noticed, but like the words started to fall apart. It was like he wasn't going to make it. Every time Carl opens his mouth, it's the equivalent of walking across one of those rickety bridges in Indiana <laughs> Jones. But mi you might not make it to the other side. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at him. Anyway, we've had a few laughs and we've had a few insults. But, yeah, so um, we're trying to sort of really, honestly, I'll try and sort out some else as opposed to block Rockbusters next week. Mm -hmm. Um, less adverts, I think. Ideally. Um, what else? Oh, better, uh, better chat, better music, better presenters. No, come on. They got rid of Monkey News. What is it? Oh, is there no Monkey News? No, it's gone on this week. Don't talk, sh t there must be some Monkey News. It's not like it's real news. You tell us stories about chimps from the 18th century. It's not- don't give me all, nothing all, happened man. this week. You just didn't look at the internet. Did look. The and there's no news. Could, nothing was, happened. There was one little bit of monkey news about, um, <laughs> how you can now buy tea that's been picked by little chimps because it- because it tastes good. Right. That's, that's what they're saying. Right. Why does it taste good? What I do they know. do to it? I don't know. It just annoyed me. Is it, is it those chimps from the PG tip though? <laughs> well, that's that's <laughs> the annoying Are thing. they dressed up, having funny conversations? Well, like that's in the thing. Somewhere. Everyone made a fuss about, you know, that's cruel, making them pick a piano up. Yeah. If I was a chimp, I know what job I'd prefer. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Doing removals rather than standing <laughs> in the field picking tea and that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that he probably thought that was a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he thought it was a, a trailer for a Channel 4 programme. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll be back next I've week. I've got a little treat for them. Right, that winner of the DVD, watch the behind the scenes footage because you see Carl's little round head. So they're enjoying that. Who won that, by the way? We've uh, given that away, haven't we? Yeah, we forget who it yeah, was. It's gone. Oh, Don't bother Laura. watching the rest of the stand up, though. It's a bit poor. <laughs> <laughs> Leave you with 50 Cent's outfit. Fiddy, I called him Fiddy. Fiddy I yeah. called him Fiddy Cent. Back next week. Fiddy. Stop one on one. Yeah. I